Telephoto lenses are an absolute essential for landscape photography. And a few weeks ago, I picked up the Nikon 50 to 250 at 4.5 to 6.3. This is an incredible lens so far. I'm talking about in this video why I picked this lens up for my landscape photography. What's up, guys? I'm Project Photography, back of the video. And today, people, today, we all know that telephoto lenses are an absolute essential for landscape photographers. They allow you to do things like isolate certain subjects, capture panoramas, and a whole slew of other benefits that come with it. It's a complement to a wide angle lens. You need both of those lenses for your landscape photography. And a few weeks ago, like I said, picked up this 50 to 250. It's a pretty nice lens so far uh, from what I've used. And I just want to talk about the reasons why I bought this lens in particular for my Nikon Z system. As you guys know, I shoot with the Nikon Z6 and my secondary body is a Z50. And with my Z50, I use this for all my telephoto stuff. I used to have a 70 to 300 with the FTZ adapter. And that's not, definitely not a bad combination. But the thing is with that combo on the wide angle side, well wide angle, but on the shorter side of the focal range, I, it would be at 70 millimeters, but on a crop sensor body, that's 105 millimeters. And that goes up to a 450 millimeters. That's a pretty long range. But the thing is 105 millimeters at the short end is kind of too telephoto for me on the short end that I want. This lens definitely makes more sense. It's a 50 to 250. And that focal range is a 75 to 375. It's a pretty good focal range actually. And it just makes more sense with a crop sensor body because this is a crop sensor lens. Now, when you consider all the other telephoto options that we have for the Nikon Z system, we have the 70 to 200 f 2.8, but that's a really expensive lens and I don't really need the 2.8 and it's just a big, heavy lens overall. The other lens that is telephoto, quote unquote, that you could use for landscape photography is a 24 to 200. I wouldn't really want to use that because I'm not real. I don't really want to use a super zoom for my telephoto I'd rather just pick up this. This makes the most sense. It's lightweight. It's cheap. And it just does the job very, very well. Plus on a uh, Nikon Z50 works really well. Now, when it came to the Nikon Z system, when using it for landscape photography, my ultimate goal was able to have a system where I had to phase out the FTZ adapter. That's why I got the 14 to 30 with my Z6. And now with this, with the 50 to 250, I can completely phase out the FTZ adapter. With that, I'm able to reduce weight. I can use an L bracket for my telephoto and just a whole slew of other benefits. And plus, I feel like it's definitely a much more integrated system because they're all Z series lenses, all Z series bodies. It just works very, very well. And here's the thing about the Nikon Z system is that they never actually announced a 70 to 300 F4 to 5.6 kind of equivalent for the Z system. That was never announced. And it looks like it's not gonna really be coming here in the near future. So that's why I kind of just went with this. I mean, it just makes sense right now. I don't really want to wait all that time. And with the circumstances that I'm in now, it just makes more sense to have this setup than wait all that time, or even just keep on using the FTZ adapter. So let's talk about the lens now that I explained, you know, why I bought it. Overall, this optically speaking is a very good lens. You know, it's very sharp. It has very nice micro contrast. It's very nice clarity. Just it's an overall optically great lens, which I'm not surprised about, but I'm kind of surprised about because this is a kit lens. This comes in a kit with the Z50 plus a 16 to 50 kit. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good kit but it is a kit lens. So you would think, oh, it's not that good quality. But when you shoot photos with it, I mean, the quality is simply stunning. It, it blows me away. And I'm surprised every time at how good it is because it just works really, really well. So I'm really happy about that. Um, there's no sort of compromise between lightweight affordability and uh, the optical performance. So everything just works really well. One thing that kind of worries me just a little bit is the fact that it's an all plastic uh, build. There's a plastic mount with, for uh, mounting the lens onto the body. Um, it's just overall plastic. I mean, not really. You, that's kind of something you would expect coming from something like this. I mean, it is a kit lens. That's definitely something that you need to think about. But when it comes to that, because it's plastic means that you're able to um, it's much more lightweight. So it's around a 400 gram lens and the Z50 is around 400 grams. So it's about 800 grams in total. Whereas just my 70 to 300 plus the FTZ adapter was 800 grams already. So this is definitely a step up when it comes to weight. And that's kind of the biggest deal with all this. Reason why I got rid of the FTZ adapter and a big reason why stepping up to the Z system is a big uh, plus in the first place. Just minimizing that weight, making sure that you have a system that is integrated really well. It just makes sense to go to 
a 50 to 250, even though it is a kit lens. I don't really let that stop me from making amazing images. I mean, it shows that optically it works really, really well. So I'm not worried about any of that sort of stuff. Again, like I said, the focal length is really good. It's a 75 to 375, getting that extra bit of 75 on the telephoto side is definitely a plus in my book. Um, but the downside is that it's a 4.5 to 6.3. Now that is a little bit concerning to me because I'd rather have a 4.5 to 5.6, but you know, I guess that's just a compromise with having that extended telephoto range. But for me, I'd rather have 4.5 to 5.6 because if I'm shooting something like a panorama, I'm going to have to be shooting that with a little bit of a shorter shutter speed because you know, I'm shooting it in a sequence, not necessarily taking my time and all that. So that's one thing that's gonna be a little bit worrisome to me, but overall, I think it's gonna be a good lens for this system. I think it's gonna do exactly what I wanna do. And just being able to completely phase out the FTZ adapter is a huge plus in my book. Lightweight telephoto, I mean, what more can you possibly want? Plus, Z50 is a great camera. So let me know what you guys think about this setup. Was, is this a setup that you guys would want to have in your landscape photography kit? This is definitely a setup that I am very much looking forward to shoot with. This plus the 14 to 30 on my Z6 is just gonna be an absolute killer combo. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. A rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.